Hello everyone and welcome to the one hour build with yeah. Walker and the light of my life, Scott. That's me. And don't forget Charles behind the, the, the scenes. Yeah, our producer. <clears throat> so, this, we're making this, a pendant light. This looks like something we might be making today. Huh? Yeah, we are. Unfortunately, we're not cutting it because we, we made it with the Pro. Okay. So we can scale this file down and cut a small one on the Muse. Could be um, even pendant size, and you could you could wear it around your neck if you want. Yeah, a literal pendant. Yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. That's <coughs> where it gets its name from. Yeah, yeah. Th this is traditionally called a pendant light, when it just single hang like a lot of teardrop shapes are like that. Um, it's just a type of light. So I hope everybody had a good Fourth of July. I'm sure they did. And a great weekend coming up. Yeah, that's the best thing about having a day off during the week. <coughs> you get yeah. The weekend quicker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and if you don't have any plans, you can sit home and make this guy. It'd be worthwhile. Yeah, because uh, it looks cool and it is kind of a challenge. If you know, why is it such a challenge? You told me this and I was, I was really <laughs> impressed when you told me what you didn't use to make this thing. So I didn't use any glue with this project. This is all notched together and that simplicity is what makes it kind of difficult to put together because you have to line up all the notches kind of get them in place and then once you let go it kind of springs and holds everything together. So did you design this one yourself? Or yeah, uh, I designed this completely. Um, I always wanted some sort of geometric shape, you know, and I went to Urban Outfitters and they had some lines and mm -hmm. stuff, so I kind of copied that look and I just wanted it so they didn't have to buy anything except for the pendant. And then I uh, glued paper behind it. So it's a super it costs like I want to say eight Let's bucks see. to make. Yeah. But it is, if you're a puzzle guy, one of those guys who likes tinkering and likes getting frustrated for a second, <laughs> and then uh, has the satisfaction of it finally being done, this is the project for you. I mean, I suppose you could break down and use glue if you absolutely had to. Yeah, you could glue it. And these actually, these there's the top notches and the middle notches, they're extremely tight. So they're going to hold no matter what. But these sides have to be loose just to be able to manipulate it and put it together. So and do you do one one edge at a time, or do you do you have to do like opposite sides? Or? So you're going to have to start by making each of these panels. So this panel and this panel go together with these middle notches, and these middle notches, all the notches are labeled because they look very similar in shape. Yeah. So they'll have a little M for the middle, and that's part of the design that you put in the file. You put that right there in RE three. You put the little the, the little labels on them. Too. Yeah, yeah, a little mark. A little uh, vector mark just to make sure, a little quick so you don't mix them up because I actually was mixing them up and I made it. So <laughs> I was like, we better do something about this. So when they download the file, they'll have all those marks. Yeah, made. they'll have all the marks. You just have to set your vector line to a marking. Excellent. Um, so you have your top marks, which are uh, top notches that are represented with a T. A T. And then the middle with the M and then the S or the sides. And this goes all together. And we're actually doing a whole month of light fixtures. It, it was funny because about two weeks ago, Nick and I were talking, what should we do? And we came up with just a month of the, the July uh, all light fixtures. All light fixtures for July. Yeah. And then happenstancingly, uh, is that a word? Happenstance. Uh, uh, by happenstance. By happenstance. Cindy Garcia, one of our sponsored makers, actually made her own version of a uh, light fixture. It's very modern, cool, notches together, and that's also available for uh, right. download. She made that with her Muse, right? Yeah. It's a lot of cuts on the Muse. Is it? Yeah. But She's it's getting good. She is getting good. It, it's really cool. Yeah. I didn't do s notches for a long, long time. When I first got the laser, I would say six months, it was just engraving stuff. Uh -huh. But then you finally designed. Yeah, you didn't have someone like you helping you along, though. This is true. Yes. I was by myself in the darkness. You guys ready for this one? Yeah. Here comes some more light. Oh. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> so, we have three more weeks of light fixtures. <laughs> now, what uh, will, they'll be different than the pendant light, though. You yeah, we'll do style. all different kinds. Right. We'll do pendant lights. We'll do uh, desk lamp is next week. Maybe some edge lit acrylic, something like that. Oh, that would be neat. Yeah. Um, so I guess we covered this guy. It's, this was over-engineered completely. <laughs> it, it was. It took uh, you longer to, to design it than to, to make it. And yeah, it, uh, I've never done any sort of paneling notches like this, and <clears throat> so it was my first go. 
and there were some hurdles doing it, but I, I like the way it came out. Now, if we turn off the light, they can see maybe the panels a little bit closer. It's kind of hard to see some of the detail there. We'd have to turn off the light in this, this guy, I think. There we go. So you kind of start to see the level of detail. And you can always change these interior designs to whatever you right, want. Right, you could make uh, characters or something like that. Yeah, yeah, an Alice in Wonderland theme or mm -hmm. something like that. Um, and you could allow more light or less light through depending on how thick you want to keep the, the, the slots. Yeah, and if you want to add paper, you don't have to add the back paper to make it like lanterning. I like the paper. The paper is really nice. And it, it blocks out the, uh, the bulb, too. So yeah, the nice. main bulb. Yeah. A lot of people make light fixtures that don't block out the main bulb, and it's hard to look at. Right. So. Um, All right. Well, uh, you have a, a shot of your file that you used? No. What were your no. settings that you used? So this on the Pro, well, we cut at 60 speed, 100 power, and 80 current. So running your Pro, this takes probably an hour, realistically, after you know all said and done to cut. How much wood did you use for that? About $8 worth of wood, so not too bad. Um, and it's just the, uh, the eighth inch regular wood. From, this this uh, is a uh, quarter inch, and quarter remember inch. that quarter inch is never true quarter inch. When they say it's quarter inch wood, most of the time it's 0.2 inches. And if you want tight notches with wood, you'll always want to drop that two decimals. Mm. So 0.18 is good for notching um, projects. And with acrylic, you'll probably only want to drop it down to point one or not at all sometimes when it comes to acrylic because it cuts so precisely. What's that tool you love to use all the time? To, to the, the calipers. You got to right. have a nice set of digital calipers and when I say nice like you can't just grab a digital pair and think that they're good because earlier this week I used one and it was reading eight millimeters but the thing was actually three millimeters and it was that's it a really bad <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> margin so of error there i don't i don't know that much about like fixing them so mm -hmm. i just threw it away maybe it needed new batteries or something uh maybe maybe i threw it away okay. it's eight dollars <laughs> um so Start from scratch we do have a sale on the uh hobby machine do we have that oh yeah boom very good 2500 for your basic model hobby machine. So if you want to start making cool stuff like this, uh, this is where you would start. You start. It's a solid machine, I know. Yeah, this is balling on a budget machine. This is what engineers get, people who want a prototype. They don't need the camera necessarily, they just mm -hmm. want a laser cut. And this is a great starting point. Good deal. Yeah, so join us next week for Laser Talk since we missed out this week because of 4th July, which is a good reason. Yeah, everything's a little hurried this week huh yeah yeah a little rush we lost the day but but you came up with a very elaborate nice project here yeah i focused a little bit and um, if you make this project over the weekend or any time send us your pictures join please. the uh the weekly contest join the weekly contest and uh next week we'll be making a desk lamp i'm looking forward to that because mm. i have a desk you do yeah that's nice me too <laughs> <clears throat> um so i think until next time keep making